Who is this physics man? I've done my masters in technology from IIT Delhi, international curriculum by Cambridge. Who subscribe to this channel and press that bell icon. Yeah, you knew that already, right? Why have I chosen the language of discussion as English? Yengal Malayalam thilan samsari kar. Main Hindi janta hu, aur main Hindi mein baat bhi kar sakta hu, Hindi mein pada bhi sakta hu. I tell you a secret. Oh, newborn babies don't move much. Maybe it has become the Usain Bolt of electrons. The honey bees, they go to different flowers and uh, collect the uh, nectar. Yes, you will get notes. You people can do one thing right now. You can subscribe to this channel, press the bell icon, like this video and make this video viral. Make this video go viral like anything. My target is 100, 100 subscribers, 100 likes, 100 uh, comments for this video. Yeah, you have to pay zero rupees. Uh, the students who don't have doubts are actually the students who didn't understand anything at all or the students who have understood everything. Happy physicsing! Hello everyone, welcome to Physics Man and you lucky people are watching the first ever video of this channel. First of all, let's clear the air. Who is this Physics Man? Well, you might have guessed it already. It is me. But who am I? Duh, I just told you I'm the Physics Man, right? <laughs> okay, okay, on a serious note though, my name is Fawaz Shafi Mahmood. I'm a physics faculty. I've done my masters in technology from IIT Delhi on design of mechanical equipments. I have an experience of teaching students from grade 7 to grade 12 in uh, CBSE curriculum, JE and NEET aspirants, students from grade 9 to grade 11 in IGCSE curriculum, which is the international curriculum by Cambridge. I have even taught students from uh, engineering colleges and uh, GATE aspirants. For those of you who don't know what GATE stands for, uh, it, is an it is an entrance exam for MTech courses in IITs. Uh, it's like the IIT JEE but for MTech courses. Now why am I telling you all these things? I'm not at all bragging or boasting about myself. What is the word that you people use nowadays? Uh, flexing. I'm not at all flexing. I'm just telling you all these things to make you understand that you are in safe hands. That is, if you decide, and I hope you decide, to subscribe to this channel and press that bell icon and decide to stick with me for this wonderful journey of physics, you will not regret that decision. Now what am I going to do in this channel? It may come as a shock to you. I'm going to teach you physics. Yeah, you knew that already, right? Yeah, you have read the name of the channel. You have heard me saying physics for the z for a zillion times. So you know I'm going to teach you physics. But which class I'm going to concentrate on? I'm going to concentrate on grade 11th and grade 12th syllabus of physics in uh, CBSE uh, curriculum. Okay. But I'm going to start with grade 12 syllabus because I want the students who are uh, writing the board exam this year also to benefit. Okay. Now, but why am I speaking in English? Why have I chosen the language of discussion as English rather than Hindi, which is chosen by majority of the teachers in YouTube for catering for Indian students? The reason is the same. That is, there are a lot of eminent teachers a lot of which, lot of whom I look up to, a lot of whom are actually better than me, uh, catering for students who prefer Hindi over English. But there are very few teachers who are catering for the students who don't understand Hindi. But you may be thinking in India, who doesn't know Hindi? Uh, it may come as a shock to you. There are a lot of students who don't understand Hindi or who don't speak Hindi. For example, I come, I come from Kerala where a lot of people don't know Hindi because we speak in Malayalam. So because of which, many students would love if I teach in English. So I've decided to uh, teach in English, but if the number of subscribers or number of viewers don't increase as I expect, then I would have to switch back to Hindi. But I just told you that I come from Kerala where people don't speak in Hindi. But that doesn't mean I don't know Hindi, right? Because I am I'm teaching at present in English as well as in Hindi in my offline classes. I Hindi janta hu aur main Hindi mein baat bhi kar sakta hu, Hindi mein pada bhi sakta hu. So that won't be an issue. 
Now let's talk about physics. Yeah, I know I don't want to sugarcoat uh, about physics. I know what you people say behind my back. Physics is boring. Physics is uh, very difficult. Physics is physics question paper is lengthy. Uh, yeah, every year after the twelfth board exam, there are petitions filed against one subject, one specific subject. Yes, you all know, you all know which subject that is. So I know physics is uh, a bit difficult, but I don't blame you. Also, I'll tell you a secret. Do not tell it to anyone else. Okay, it's between us. When I was in twelfth standard, I also I would say hated physics, but I didn't used to like physics either. <laughs> don't tell it to anyone. Not eleventh that much, but twelfth, because in twelfth you learn about imaginary or invisible things. Uh, let's start about first chapter. In first chapter, you learn about uh, electron. Let's consider an electron to be a newborn baby. So newborn babies don't move much. They will be sitting at a place. So in first chapter, you learn about electrons which are stationary and which pro which produce electric field around it, which is imaginary, which which you cannot visualize. Then to visualize that, you bring in electric field lines which are imaginary. They in any standard textbooks you can see imaginary lines. It's just to visualize that electric field. In second chapter, in coming chapters, the electron has grown a bit, so now it starts to crawl with some uniform speed. So that is what we call current electricity. Yes, we, the electrons start drifting with a, a drift speed or drift velocity, and we call it current electricity because of the current electricity. Now magnetic field is produced around it, and uh, the magnetic field is also we cannot see it. It produces some magnetic field because of that the charges or the uh, current carrying wires they experience a force all these things are there now again to visualize magnetic field we bring in magnetic field lines which also we cannot see or which is imaginary and then after some time the electron has grown so big that it can accelerate maybe it has become the Usain Bolt of electrons <laughs> and because of acceleration of the electrons Although already we had problems with electric field and magnetic field, now they come together and they come together in such a way that one produces the other. Electric field changes because of which magnetic field changes because because of which, because of which electric field changes and this goes on and on. Again, yeah, it's not a shock, a shocking thing. We cannot see this. So these discussions, we cannot see these things. It, these are called electromagnetic waves. I know. A uh, region of electromagnetic spectrum we can visualize, which are called visible light, WebGeor, the colors, you have already learnt about that, heard about that in grade times. But these electric fields and magnetic fields, we cannot see it. So that was the problem with me when I was in 12th. I didn't, I, I couldn't visualize this, so because of that I didn't like it much. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to teach you physics in such a way that I'll make you visualize these things, maybe with uh, pictures, videos, animations, and with a lot of fun. So I'll make you visualize these things and uh, because of which you will start loving physics, whether it be grade 11th or grade 12th. Okay. So in short, I can say that I didn't like physics in 12th standard because I didn't have a teacher like me. <coughs> yeah. So that's about physics, but how do we tame this wild animal called physics? I'll make you understand this uh, with a very good example. That is, if physics was a person, then you can consider um, the understanding the concepts of physics as the skeleton of the person. Okay, and uh, practicing more and more numericals are like adding more and more parts to the body. More and more muscles, more and more uh, um, digestive systems, more and more numerical, as numerical, what is it, nervous systems, and so on and forth, so forth. I'll tell you a second secret in this video. In the first video itself, I'm telling you two secrets about myself. Okay, the second secret is don't tell it to anyone. I didn't like physics, I didn't like biology either. Okay, I didn't take biology in grade 11th or 12th. Uh, that is, that I can say is the reason which because because of which I'm weak in biology but why did I take biology in the 11th and 12th because I didn't want to memorize all those weird terminology that is there in biology okay so that's about physics so 
how to uh, tame it you have to understand the concepts and you have to practice more and more new methods so it's like uh, if you if your concepts are clear and if you have practiced more and more numericals then your physics will be perfect just like the body is perfect okay so what am i going to do in this channel i will be preparing short and sweet videos of concepts of each chapter okay and in parallel i'll be preparing videos on numericals which are pertaining to these concepts or which are applications of these concepts so you will get the numeric you will get the videos on concepts and videos on numericals and these will cover everything from basics to advanced that is in 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 the process you will be prepared uh, for your school exams your board exams your uh, entrance exams like je mains neat kvpy or your advanced exams like je advanced and so forth so you will be prepared for everything by just watching my videos and these videos will be organized the concepts pertaining to a single chapter will be put in a single place everything will be organized simple problems which are pertaining to your school exams or your board exams or your je mains or your kvpy everything will be put in uh, uh, and neat obviously will be put in a single playlist and then advanced problems which are good for your advanced je advanced and all will be put in a different playlist yeah i know i know bees actually the honey bees they go to different flowers and uh, collect the uh, nectar and prepare honey but uh, human beings they go to the beehive and they collect honey directly or they go to the shop and buy it obviously so i know many of you want everything in a single video so at the end of the chapter when the entire chapter is completed i'll be combining everything uh, according to the need the concepts and the numericals pertaining to the board exam or your school exams will be in a single video i'll prepare a single video for that and the um, concepts and numericals which are pertaining to je neat je mains and neat will be in a di different video and the concepts which are pertaining to je mains neat and uh, sorry je advanced will be put in a single video now you will get all these interactive video sessions apart from this will you get anything more yes you will get notes and these notes will be uh, uh, the links for these notes will will be given in the description of the final video of the chapter the single video which is containing everything uh, in that video the in the description of that video the link for, for these notes will be provided and in these notes what are you going to get you're going to get uh, the theory solved examples uh, dpp nahi not dpp dpp stands for daily practice problems so you'll get pps okay i i know it 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 um, it's it um, here's weird pp stands for practice problems and then you will get tips and tricks as well so all these things you're going to get so now let's talk about what i am going to get let's talk about the monetary part <laughs> you thought everything is free right okay you will uh, get all these things the entire course only for uh, wait i have written it somewhere over here yeah uh, there is a there are different packages a monthly package annual package and then lifetime package so we'll talk about the lifetime package and uh, yeah lifetime package it yeah you have to pay 0 rupees yes obviously <laughs> obviously what you thought is right everything is free but if you want to support me there are different ways which we'll talk about in the coming videos maybe using patreon or paypal or paytm or um, you can join the channel whatever ways are there we'll talk about that later uh, i'm trying to provide free education just like many of the teachers who are uh, on youtube who are providing uh, free education on youtube so anyway but you can do one thing you people can do one thing right now you can subscribe to this channel press the bell icon like this video and make this video viral make this video go viral like anything just share it with your friends your neighbors your family whatever whoever just share it okay so i hope you will do that okay so share it with your friends um just make it viral okay 
so let me see uh, my next video i will upload only after i get i'm not keeping large target or anything just maybe 100 100 subscribers that's enough for the first video maybe you will uh, you know gracefully give me more subscribers it's a different matter but my target is 100 100 subscribers 100 likes 100 uh, comments for this video and whatever you uh, you have to tell to me you can tell me in the comment section and doubts also whatever doubts you have in the while i teach that also you can tell me in the comment section i know there are there will be students who have doubts obviously uh, the students who don't have doubts are actually the students who didn't understand anything at all or the students who have understood everything uh, but majority of the students are actually in between they understand some things they don't understand the other so whatever you think you have doubts in please let me know in the comment section or you can uh, let me know personally you can message me personally in instagram or facebook the description uh, the link for which also will be put in the description below okay so until we meet again uh, just jump on board uh, we feel feel happy to jump on board and let's have this journey together in this wonderful world of physics so until we meet again it's goodbye from me happy physicsing